Hello and welcome. Today's session is based on the topic drought. First, we will discuss about the basics of drought. Drought is referred as creeping phenomena. It is a slow onset disaster. Generally speaking, it is difficult to demarcate the onset and offset of a drought. It is a cumulative atmospheric hazard that is it is related to weather phenomena but becomes intense due to human activities. It can last for few months or years but sometimes it lasts for a few days say 15 days. Drought basically implies dry parched land, scarcity of water and food, malnutrition, unemployment and bad living condition. Drought is a temporary reduction of water moisture availability below the normal or expected amount for a specific time period. Drought means absence or deficiency of rainfall from its normal pattern in a region for an extended period of time. It is an improper distribution of rain in a particular time and space. Drought actually is a negative balance between precipitation and water use. People of Africa in the world are the ones who have to struggle harder due to drought. Drought is a disaster which affects more people than any kind of natural disaster owing to their large scale and long lasting nature. Definition According to C.G. Gates, a year or season in which the total rain is less than 75% of the normal is called a drought. It can be a moderate drought if rainfall is deficient between 26% and 50% and a severe drought when it is more than 50%. Difference between drought, aridity and desertification. Before we go into the in-depth understanding of drought, it is important to understand the difference between drought, aridity and desertification, which can be well understood through the figure shown in the slide. Firstly, we will try to understand the meaning of these three terms. Remember, Drought is a temporary condition which results in the reduction of water resource availability. Arthat, sukha asthai sthiti hai jisse jal sansadhan ki kami ho jati hai. Whereas aridity is a permanent climatic condition with low seasonal or annual precipitation and high evaporation. Jabki shushkata sthai jalvayu dasha hai jisme noon version और अधिक वाष्पीकरण होता है डेजर्टिफिकेशन इज अ लॉन्ग टर्म इिवर्सिबल प्रोसेस विच कॉजेज डिस्ट्रक्शन टू सॉइल पोटेंशियल ड्यू टू क्लाइमेटिक एंड ह्यूमन एक्टिविटीज अर्थात मरुस्थलीकरण दीर्घकालिक अपरिवर्तनशील प्रक्रिया है जिससे मृदा की उत्पादकता का हास होता है जो प्राकृतिक एवं मानवीय क्रियाओं के कारण होता है अगर हम फिगर में ध्यान से देखें तो एरिडिटी तथा ड्राउट दोनों ही नेचुरल कंडीशंस हैं पर एरिडिटी परमानेंट प्रोसेस है और ड्राउट एक टेम्प्रेरी कंडीशन है बेसिकली ड्यू टू नेचुरल कॉजेस पहले ड्राउट कंडीशंस प्रिवेल करती हैं जिससे वाटर सॉइल एक्सप्लॉयटेशन होता है एंड देन इट्स सीवियरिटी चेंजेस दैट एरिया इन टू डेजर्टिफिकेशन प्रोसेस and ultimately aridity conditions prevail so what we want to say is that nature induces temporary phenomena which in turns turns into permanent state by anthropogenic activities now the factors enhancing drought condition firstly reduced level of rainfall high evaporation increase in air temperature increase in solar radiation high wind speed low humidity 
decrease in soil moisture, deforestation, etc. Now types of drought. Generally there are four types of drought. First, meteorological drought. It occurs due to the absence or deficit of rainfall or precipitation from normal scenario for a prolonged period of time. Second, hydrological drought. This type of drought is associated with the impact on water resource system. It leads to the reduction of surface water flow and reduce the ground water level. Thirdly, agriculture drought. This is a type of drought which affects crop production, soil condition and also average crop yield. Lastly, socio-economic drought. This drought correlates with the shortage of water, shortage of supply and demands of good and services in the society. U.S. National Weather Service has also classified drought into three parts. First, absolute drought, which occurs when no rain is there over a period for at least 15 days, with less than 0.01 inches of rain. Second, partial drought, no rain for at least 29 consecutive days, and rainfall does not exceed 0.01 inches. Dry spell, no rain for at least 15 consecutive days and rain is less than 0.03 inches. Types of drought according to Indian classification. Indian classification has given seven types of drought. First, Metrological drought. According to Indian Meteorological Department, metrological drought is said when mean rainfall is less than 75% of normal rainfall in an area. Severe drought when rainfall deficiency exceeds 50% of normal rainfall. Whereas moderate between 25 to 50% deficiency of rainfall. Second, hydrological drought. It is associated with the reduction of water, which causes surface water drought and also groundwater drought. Third, agriculture drought. It is a drought related to reduction of crop yield and soil moisture. Next, soil moisture drought. This type of drought affects soil moisture which does not support crop growth. Fifth, socio-economic drought, a drought which reduces availability of food and income crop failure and affects social security. Sixth, famine, it occurs when large-scale collapse of food occurs. And lastly, ecological drought, it takes place when the productivity of a natural ecosystem fails and causes environmental damage. Now the distribution pattern in world and in India. Word distribution of drought. Drought is a normal reoccurring feature of the climate in most parts of the world. There are several regions of world which are prone to drought like Africa, Australia, United States of America, South America, Soviet Union and United Kingdom. Most drought prone countries in the world are number one Ethiopia, then Sudan, Eritrea, Afghanistan, China, Pakistan, Iran, Somalia, Uganda, and Morocco. Now the drought in India. Around 68% of India's total area is drought prone. 315 out of the total of 725 talukas 
in 99 districts are drought prone 50 million people are annually affected by drought and more than 8 states suffer severe impact of drought drought prone regions of india indian drought prone regions can be categorized in four categories number 1 extreme drought prone areas that is parts of rajasthan west of aravalli hills kutch region of gujarat second severe drought prone areas east rajasthan most of madhya pradesh eastern part of maharashtra interior part of andhra pradesh karnataka telangana plateau north part of tamil nadu southern jharkhand and interior odisha third moderate drought prone areas northern rajasthan haryana southern uttar pradesh remaining parts of gujarat maharashtra some parts of tamil nadu and karnataka now the fourth less drought prone areas that is remaining part of the country now the causes of drought that is firstly deforestation overgrazing soil erosion low soil moisture holding capacity absence of irrigation facilities poor water management excessive use of ground and surface water water consuming cropping pattern loss of biodiversity global warming population growth urbanization industrialization etc now the impacts of drought can be divided into two categories direct and indirect impact the direct impact includes ground water depletion reduction in crop and forest productivity increase in wildfire pollution decrease in livestock and wildlife increase in mortality rate damage to wildlife and fish habitat and adverse effect on biodiversity now the indirect impact firstly reduction in the income of farmers and agri business increase prices of food and timber unemployment increase in communicable diseases migration unrest in human and wildlife reduction in energy production food shortage health reduction loss of life reduction in life expectancy increase in poverty reduction in quality of life increase in social unrest and also creates the situation of war now measures to manage drought it includes prediction and monitoring timely impact assessment and response plant crop rotation practice rain water harvesting expansion of irrigation facilities buildings of dam restrict outdoor water use and also restrict wastage of water recycle water building canals or redirecting rivers induce rain through cloud seeding drought monitoring and planning and create public awareness and education with this we come to the end of today's session but before we conclude i would like to bring in your kind notice that time has arrived when adequate understanding of the concepts of drought strategies related with the scientific community and government plans are needed immediately to reduce the serious implication caused by drought otherwise the mistakes and failures of our past will be repeatedly undoubtedly which will result into more severe consequences so it is important to struggle and reduce the implications related to drought 
अंत में मैं यही कहूंगी जिंदगी जीना आसान नहीं होता बिना संघर्ष के कोई महान नहीं होता जब तक न पड़े हथौड़े की चोट तो पत्थर भी भगवान नहीं होता विद दिस थैंक्स फॉर वॉचिंग द वीडियो फॉर एनी फर्दर क्वेरीज काइंडली डू मैंशन इन द कमेंट बॉक्स काइंडली लाइक शेयर एंड सब्सक्राइब एंड डू नॉट फॉर गेट टू प्रेस द बेल बटन फॉर फर्दर नोटिफिकेशन्स रिलेटेड टू द चैनल Thank you